turkey production in Minnesota is dominated by family farms and family businesses. Even titans of Minnesota turkey industry have family roots. Wilmer Poultry Company opened its doors in 1945 under the name Wilmer Poultry and Egg Company. Founders Albin Norling, Albert Heisinga, and Herman Nelson were Candy Yohai County farmers who relied on processors to buy their turkeys. Unhappy with the prices they were getting, the founders took matters into their own hands. Albin and Al and my other uncle Herman were three of the major turkey producers in the county. And, uh, and uh, their choices of marketing were very, very poor. In 1951, Albert's nephew, Ted Heisinga, joined the company. Ted Heisinga served in the military in Japan before returning to Minnesota to attend college. At the time, shaping the state's turkey industry wasn't his goal. You know, I wasn't any good at sales at all, never have been, never will be. But I love to come up with ideas that, that uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. In 1958, Ray Norling, son of founder Albin Norling, joined the company, bringing with him a focus on business. Ted Heisinger and Ray Norling poured resources into research and development in all areas of the business, growing it into an industry leader that covered all aspects of turkey production. started out, of course, with uh, processing and then uh, pulled and then a feed mill was purchased, and uh, then equipment was being uh, purchased from us. So it got to be a ball, and medication, it got to be uh, an all-around company um, helping the growers in the area do the best job, and we could have pass on our knowledge of being a grower to those people that were buying poles from us uh, or feed. And we hired a veterinarian at that time to uh, help those growers. And uh, we became the knowledge center for the growers in the area. The idea that farmers working together could do things better themselves was a key business focus, as was conducting business with very high standards. We came with uh, knowledge from operating farms ourselves that we could pass on to our customers. And uh, we brought along uh, integrity and knowledge to be able to do that. And then uh, the best uh, technology from what we did know was being passed on to the, those growers. What was once Wilmer Poultry Company now operates 12 affiliated companies under the umbrella of Life Science Innovations. The third generation of Heisingas and Norlings are also part of the business that has taken the challenging path to success. Well, I think the choices we made for taking risk, where it's hard to grow if you don't stick your neck out a little bit. And so it seems like we made some pretty good choices on what those should be on the taking risks. Scott Norling has been with Life Science Innovations for more than 25 years and has served on the Minnesota Turkey Growers Association board. The MTGA has helped bring growers together, and so there's been a lot of opportunities to network with others that are in the same industry. So that's been helpful for all of us. Rick Heisinger, who joined the company in 1985, says being part of a family-run business can be a mixed blessing but all are willing to step in to help when needed. Had a snowstorm. It was Sunday afternoon. Snowstorm came in. We all got snowbound at my, uh, at my mom and dad's place. And the next morning, the snowstorm continued. And my, my dad's house was probably two miles from our Eagle Lake hatchery. And nobody could get to the Eagle Lake hatchery. And so we all snowmobiled from our place you know, all the, all the kids, their spouses, and, and my fiancé at the time, uh, we, we snowmobiled up to the Eagle Lake Hatchery, and we pulled the hatch that day because nobody else could get there. Life Science Innovations and its affiliated companies operate on six continents and have more than 1,500 employees. These titans of Minnesota's turkey industry have built an international business right where it began, and have achieved success because their motivation goes beyond business. What are we doing for the community? Uh, what, are, what are we doing to make a difference? And so, you know, uh, 
my father, one thing he taught us is to be a, uh, a giver. And so uh, dad has been very philanthropic and, uh, and has donated a lot of uh, his earnings to both community and, uh, and, and church organizations. So that's a, that's, a good, that's a good way to rally the family together under a cause bigger than ourselves.